And welcome back. We kick things off with football with over $90 million in sponsorship for the upcoming season. Stakeholders are confident 2019 will produce an even better school boy football season than last year. Jordan Ford spoke to some of the stakeholders at today's launch in Kingston. Kingston College and Clarendon College took the top two schoolboy trophies last season and the two teams are expressing confidence ahead of this season despite losing a number of key players. No team will have an opportunity to win all trophies on offer this season but there is one change to how the knockout format will run. So for both of them we have tweaked. So last year for Docaster Cup, uh, third and fourth place teams from the quarterfinals would qualify. This time around the second and third place teams that qualify. For the Manning Cup, there will be a playoff after that knockout round where the, third and the, the, the losing teams will go into a playoff and they will play the second place teams. In the, in the, in the quarterfinal round. KC coach Ludlow Bernard says his squad has lost a total of 17 players from the side, which broke a 32-year drought last season, but has been encouraged by the preseason performances. But whilst it's a new group, by no means, by no means are they are not aware of the, the structure that we have. They are very much in tune with what is taking place. Players transitioning from Coles level they have adapted quite well and of course players who were just awaiting their turn after being on the benches last season we expect them to come to the fore and perform this year and right back sajar blair knows they'll have a tough time in defending their title well the team is very young so uh, so we have to build them up and so we can remain focused all times okay and take home back the trophy lenworth hyde has also seen his clarendon college team lose players most notably striker Nikki Daly, but he says his squad still has balance. Well, we have lost some players. We have lost about five players from the starting level, but we have competent replacement. We have a, a, a very good squad, and we just hope them play some good football. That's what, what we ask. The result will come from your playing good football, and that's what we ask the players, which to just maintain the discipline and continue working hard. And winger Roderick Granville knows it will be tough to replace the likes of Daly. Honestly, he's irreplaceable to me, you know, cause, because of his style of play, him alone play like that. To me, he's the best striker in schoolboy football overall. But this year, the goals have for us come from all around this year. And Northern Technical are making a return to the competition after five years, having last competed under the name St. Andrew College. They're coached by former national player Mark Morris. It's 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 ball game, you know, it's, and it's money cup. So your aim is to win, you know. So we are I'm having the guys on some rigorous training, but first and foremost, I'm dealing the mental aspect of the football with these um, proper guys because they are lacking in the mental capacity of the football. So that is my first aim to um, improve them them technical skills and try to really evolve them to be a better human being. The season kicks off on Saturday, September 7. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.